An assistant U.S. attorney says it cost $3 million to clean up a brine dumping spill in Youngstown last year. Today, one of the men convicted for the dumping got punished. 27 First News reporter Jerry Ricciuti has been following this story from the very beginning. He was the only local reporter in court for the sentencing of Michael Gessman of Cortland. Despite facing up to three years in prison, Michael Gessman walked away from federal court in Cleveland after being placed on three years probation for his role in a brine dumping case in Youngstown. Uh, Mr. Guzman's sentence was significantly reduced because of his cooperation in this case. Gessman was indicted last year along with his former boss, Ben Lupo, for violating the Clean Water Act. At the time, Gessman was working for Hard Rock Excavating, one of Lupo's oil and gas drilling businesses. In court, Gessman's lawyer told the judge Lupo ordered brine and other waste dumped down a storm drain on his property because the company had accepted more waste liquid than it could handle. When Gessman questioned it, he says Lupo told him the waste was going to a treatment center where it would be diluted. Even when he realized the brine ended up in the Mahoning River, Gessman continued to do as he was told, fearful he'd lose his job if he complained. After his arrest, Gessman went to the feds. He provided information that helped us run down some other leads in this case that has been very helpful to the government. In court, the defendant said he was sorry for everything he did, hoping everybody understands why. The judge told Gessman his cooperation with the government helped him dodge what he called a gigantic bullet. Are you able to say anything? We're just thrilled at the result. It was the appropriate result. While Gessman must also perform 300 hours of community service, his old boss is due in court Monday morning to make his own plea. In Cleveland, Jerry Ricciuti, WKBN 27 First News.